Manage North in the Islands. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Clackwood Sound used to support healthy, vibrant populations of sockeye, chinook, coho, chum, and pink salmon, Mr. Speaker. Today, those populations are, in, are threatened. Last week, Living Oceans issued a report which revealed that sea lice are out of control in Clackwood Sound. This past spring, wild salmon were infected with sea lice at unprecedented levels. Independent monitoring found that 96% of wild juveniles carried an average of eight lice per fish. In some cases, Mr. Speaker, fish carried up to 50 sea lice. One to three sea lice can kill a juvenile salmon. In all likelihood, this outbreak, outbreak could kill off an entire generation of fish from the area, Mr. Speaker. And my question through you to the Minister of Agriculture is, was her ministry aware of the growing threat of sea lice in BC fish farms? And if so, what is she doing to address it? Uh, Minister, before you begin, may I remind members that it is not appropriate to use the word lie in the House. Minister of Agriculture. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I want to assure the member that our government is committed to keeping our water safe and protecting the health of our wild salmon stocks. The federal government has primary responsibility for fish farms and fish health in our waters, and that includes regulating slice and tracking drug effectiveness and potential resistances. I understand that DFO is conducting a review of a Cermak fish farm in the Clayquet Sound to determine whether protocols for reporting and treating an outbreak in the spring were followed. I've had conversations with the federal minister and he recognizes things need to change. But I'm encouraged by DFO's recent re-engagement on the West Coast and the renewed commitment to addressing fish health and protecting wild salmon. And we will continue to work with our federal partners to ensure that they fully recognize and exercise their responsibilities. Saanich North and the Islands on a supplemental. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, the outbreak in Clackwood was triggered, uh, as the minister mentioned, by a growing pesticide resistance to uh, slice. This is a single drug, uh, drug approved for sea lice uh, treatment in Canada. In 2014, DFO knew resistance to slice was building. They documented failures in Clemtu in 2013, Esperanza Inlet in 2017, and now Clack Clackwood Sound in 2018. The alternative to using slices to d dump a cocktail of new drugs and chemicals into our ocean with untold effect. For wild salmon, this means either an increasing risk of exposure to lethal parasite levels at a time when stocks are critically depressed or potentially irreparably harming the marine environment where they live. My question through you, Honourable Speaker, is to the Minister of Agriculture. I, I don't have such a, uh, a high level of confidence with DFO. We've seen uh, their vastly underfunding fish stock analysis. They continue to ignore the growing body of evidence of the threat of open net fish farms pose on our coast, and it really feels, Mr. Speaker, like they are bringing the, uh, the, the cod fishery plan out here on the West Coast. So to the Minister of Agriculture, at what point is our government going to stand up and publicly demand that they take action, the Department of Fisheries of Oceans respect our coast? Minister of Agriculture. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, the member uh, will know that the federal government holds much of the jur jurisdiction in this area, but as a provincial government, we've taken action on the provincial level to protect wild salmon. In response to First Nations and public concerns around pesticide use, the Ministry of Environment proposed changes to the Integrated Pest Management Regulation, and people have until November the 30th to submit feedback. We've introduced rigorous new requirements for salmon farm tenures. We've engaged in historic government-to-government -government talks in the Broughton Archipelago to resolve nations' long-standing concerns around salmon farms in their territories, and we've launched the Wild Salmon Advisory Council. Although the federal government has a lot of responsibility, we are taking action and we're working with the federal government to ensure that they fully exercise their responsibility to address salmon health. 